How to create a purchase credit memo in Business Central. In Business Central, I could create a purchase credit memo for undoing something that I have bought or sending items back to the vendor. Let's see how this works. So first of all, I could go up to here and enter uh, purchase credit memos, but I have it tabbed to my role center. So I'm going, going to click right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new credit memo like this. Now I knew my vendor name, so I'm gonna go here and click okay. And because I know my vendor name that I have going to send either something back to or just to get some money refund. So I select the vendor name and the normal approach would be to copy the existing posted document. So from my process tab, I'm going to select copy document. And in my copy document, I could select posted invoice. Um, it's already there, but there are other things that you can also select, uh, received or whatever. And I have to be aware that if I, for instance, select a posted receipt, the pricing might not be correct because the correct pricing is entered on the purchase invoice. So the normal thing would be to copy a posted invoice. And I can select on my list from this vendor number the correct invoice that I'll find here. And I'll just take the last one. So hold on one second. Uh, what we're going to do is we're gonna go here. And we're gonna select this one. Click okay. And then click okay. And here we are. And normally I wouldn't recalculate the lines because I would like to, uh, the pricing to go exactly back the way they came in to equal it. I could even change the quantity on the line saying maybe I will only send 20. There we go, 20. And five of the other. And this one might be correct, so I would just delete the line. So to delete the line, I'm gonna go to manage and then delete line and select yes. So the point of copying the document would be that I have my tracking to the original invoice so I can see where it's coming from. Um, I purchased credit memo. And maybe this one here, I won't get back either. So I'm going to delete this line as well. Go to manage and then delete line and click yes. And I need to fill in my vendor credit memo number in the header. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go oh, fill this in like that. Uh, so it's the number on the credit memo that I should receive from my vendor, of course, before posting it here. So this way I can fill in the document by copying and changing and then just posting the document like a normal purchase invoice. And this, of course, will post opposite to the normal purchase invoice. So everything rolls back. So I'm going to go to posting. Post. Yes. And yes, and here we are. Now what I'm gonna do is after posting, if uh, it's just if I wanna open my posted document, I can open my posted credit memo here and navigate on the memo if I wanna see the entry created. So I'm gonna go to actions, find entries. Here we are. For example, I would suggest that it has created some value entry via the entry. So now that we're rolled back and I would have expected it to create some negative item ledger entries because the items actually ship back to the vendor, but those are not part of the invoicing. So I have to find that document from my posted purchase return shipment. That's a long word, but 
this is what we will do. We go up here and we type in posted. Purchase, oops. Return shipments. And we click on that. And And we open this. And scroll down to the lines. So here's my posted purchase return shipment. And I can see how the quantity, 20, that I've shipped back to the vendor. And if I navigate this document, I can see my two item ledger entries that have been withdrawn from inventory in the correct amount here. So if I go up to find entries, and then there we go. 